He is known for overseeing the construction of the Pentagon and directing the Manhattan Project. He was involved in the development of the atomic bomb during World War II. His name is Leslie Groves. In the annals of military history, one name stands out, Leslie Richard Groves Jr., an army engineer whose contributions during World War II were nothing short of extraordinary. Born into a military family, Groves' dedication to duty was evident from a young age. After graduating from West Point, he embarked on a series of assignments that showcased his leadership abilities and attention to detail. In 1941, he was tasked with overseeing the construction of the Pentagon, a massive undertaking that would become the nerve center of the War Department. Groves' reputation as a doer and a stickler for duty earned him the opportunity of a lifetime. In September 1942, Groves was thrust into a new role that would forever shape his legacy. He was appointed to lead the Manhattan Project, a top-secret research endeavor aimed at developing the atomic bomb. Groves played a pivotal role in every aspect of the project, from selecting research and production sites to acquiring the necessary materials. His leadership and decision-making skills were put to the test as he oversaw the construction of facilities at Oak Ridge, Los Alamos, and Hanford. Despite the intense pressure and challenges, Groves wrapped the project in a cloak of security, ensuring its success. However, the story of Leslie Groves goes beyond the Manhattan Project. After the war, he continued to play a crucial role in the military's control of nuclear weapons. As the head of the Armed Forces Special Weapons Project, Groves navigated the complex military aspects of nuclear weapons. Despite facing criticism and setbacks, his dedication to duty remained unwavering. Promoted to Lieutenant General in recognition of his leadership, Groves retired from the Army in 1948 but continued to make significant contributions to the field of technology as a Vice President at Sperry Rand. Leslie Richard Groves Jr.'s life is a testament to the power of leadership and dedication. From overseeing the construction of the Pentagon to leading the development of the atomic bomb, his contributions during World War II changed the course of history. Groves' unwavering commitment to duty and his ability to navigate complex challenges make him a legendary figure in the annals of military history. His legacy serves as a reminder of the profound impact that individuals can have on shaping the world. After the war, Leslie Groves found himself facing a new challenge. On January 1, 1947, the responsibility for nuclear power and weapons was transferred to the Atomic Energy Commission. However, the military aspects of nuclear weapons still needed to be controlled. On January 29, 1947, the Armed Forces Special Weapons Project, AFSWP, was created by the Secretary of War and the Secretary of the Navy. It was on February 28, 1947, that Groves was appointed as its chief. To carry out this new mission, Groves established Sandia Base in 1946. Then, in April, AFSWP moved to the Pentagon. However, Groves's leadership was not without its challenges. General Dwight D. Eisenhower, the Chief of Staff of the United States Army, met with Groves on January 30, 1948, to evaluate his performance. Eisenhower had a long list of complaints, including Groves's rudeness, arrogance, and contempt for the rules. Eisenhower made it clear that Groves would never become Chief of Engineers. Realizing that he would not be given a similar important assignment in the post-war military, Groves made the decision to leave the Army. He understood that combat commanders returning from overseas would be given priority for such positions. Before his retirement on February 29, 1948, Groves received an honorary promotion to Lieutenant General by Special Act of Congress. This recognition was for his exceptional leadership during the Manhattan Project. His retirement date was backdated to July 16, 1945, the date of the Trinity nuclear test. Despite the challenges and criticisms he faced, Groves's contributions to the development of nuclear weapons and his leadership during the Manhattan Project were unmatched. His legacy would forever be intertwined with the history of atomic energy. In the years following the end of World War II, Leslie Groves embarked on a new chapter of his life. He joined Sperry Rand, an equipment and electronics firm, where he rose to the position of vice president. In 1948, Groves and his family relocated to Darien, Connecticut, where they settled into a quieter, more peaceful existence. After a long and illustrious career, Leslie Groves retired at the age of 65 in 1961. However, retirement did not mean a complete withdrawal from public life. Groves took on the role of president of the West Point Alumni Organization, the Association of Graduates, staying connected to his military roots. One notable event during this time was when Groves presented General of the Army Douglas MacArthur with the prestigious Sylvanus Thayer Award in 1962. This occasion marked MacArthur's memorable duty, honor, 
country, speech to the U.S. Military Academy Corps of Cadets, a powerful testament to the values and principles that shaped Groves's own life. In his later years, Leslie Groves penned an account of the Manhattan Project, which he titled, Now It Can Be Told. The book, published in 1962, provided a first-hand narrative of the project and offered insights into the immense challenges and triumphs that accompanied the development of the atomic bomb. In 1964, Groves returned to Washington, D.C., where he spent his final years. On July 13, 1970, Leslie Groves suffered a heart attack caused by chronic calcification of the aortic valve. He was rushed to Walter Reed Army Medical Center, but sadly passed away that night at the age of 73. A funeral service was held at the chapel in Fort Myer, Virginia, and Groves was laid to rest in Arlington National Cemetery, alongside his brother Alan, who had died many years earlier. Leslie Groves's contributions to the Manhattan Project and his subsequent achievements in his later life left an indelible mark on history. His leadership and determination continue to be remembered and recognized, ensuring that his legacy lives on for generations to come. Leslie Groves's greatest military achievement, the development of the atomic bomb, left an indelible mark on history. As the director of the Manhattan Project, Groves played a pivotal role in bringing together some of the brightest scientific minds of the time to work on this top-secret mission. Together with J. Robert Oppenheimer, Groves led the project with determination and a vision for success. The project required utmost secrecy and security, and Groves and Oppenheimer decided to establish the Los Alamos Laboratory in a remote location in New Mexico. This centralized research facility became the birthplace of groundbreaking scientific advancements. Groves's decision to choose this site, close to Oppenheimer's ranch, not only ensured the safety of the project but also allowed Oppenheimer to work in an environment he was familiar with. Amidst the progress made at Los Alamos, there was a growing concern among the scientists about the possibility of the Germans being ahead in developing an atomic weapon. Groves and Oppenheimer felt the urgency of their mission, and Groves even contemplated drastic measures, including poisoning German food supplies, to impede their progress. This unwavering determination and willingness to consider all options showcased Groves' commitment to achieving their goal. Leslie Groves's legacy lives on, and he is remembered in various forms of media. From television series to films, Groves's character has been portrayed by talented actors such as Manning Redwood, Richard Hurd, and Brian Dennehy. His contributions to the development of the atomic bomb and his leadership during a critical time in history continue to be recognized and celebrated. Do you want to explore more politician or military strategist? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.